Well, the way that I'm using realms is to try and create a kind of continuum all the way from the densest and smallest aspects of life, which would be the human cell in the body, through to the personal realm where uh, traditional psychotherapy has mainly lived, looking at things we've done and things that have been done to us and developing our capacities looking at our personal responsibilities into the systemic realm which has been the traditional realm of uh, constellation work looking at our embeddedness in these various systems to um, um, the beginning of a much bigger realm which I call the archetypal realm where people are actually participating in inevitable existential experiences which may resource them or may need resourcing, all the way out to the, the realm where uh, everything belongs. You could call it the, sort, the realm of source or the divine or whatever. So that people can both move around this much bigger territory and identify where resources and support can be found or where lack of attention has skewed their uh, capacity to manage their lives. So on the one hand I'm creating a much bigger map and on the other hand then I'm trying to see whether we can develop much greater sensitivity to which realms call to us and feel useful and uh, are given form by the energies that people bring so that the wisdom traditions that lie outside of constellations whether it's you know ritual and ceremony, which is very helpful for um, archetypal and spiritual work, or homeopathy, right at the other end of working with the cells of the body or life alignment. We've got somebody coming in talking about uh, health at a cellular level, so that people can resource themselves and put all these different traditions into a bigger map. So it's it it is bigger than constellations and we might well find that there are other kinds of maps and forms like the medicine wheel and so on which belong to another very long-standing tradition that people can begin to combine so that the great range of topics and themes that people like to work with in constellations can be given an enormous kind of uh, bigger canvas uh, to work on. So you can see I'm not uh, interested in training people how to run a constellation. I'm interested in how they can play with this hugely increased uh, range of uh, sort of vibrational um, possibilities <clears throat> and how they can draw on a, a much, much greater range of uh, forms and shapes and actions so that they are not just living within the systemic realm and trying to make everything fit that. So I, it's not a training, it is really, I hope, it's going to be a group of people who would love to actually put the realms onto a bigger map so that everybody can begin to make use of it. It began to develop itself in me, particularly with clients that I found were not being helped by constellations. So when somebody came to a, a workshop, I remember there's a woman who came in Brazil whose uh, therapist brought her because for 10 years she had not found her way out of a situation that she had found very unfair. And this uh, facilitator, therapist had spent a lot of time looking at absolutely everything to do with that and trying to build up her strength and so on. And something was not available to her for change. So I knew that wouldn't be a good way to go for me. And I instead set up a constellation just with archetypal features, you know, God, people who steal, uh, um, the people who are stolen from, you know, these sort of fundamental structures of life that would exist in any society. And I invited her to inhabit and question and dialogue with these people until she could find a 
better space. And she then was able to see her predicament in a completely different way. And uh, I understood from the people who worked with her that that was the end of her problem, that somehow she was able to to feel, to rejoin the human race as a person who had got some power and autonomy. And it didn't come from the particulars, it came from something bigger than that. And I found sometimes that the other, the opposite is true as well, that the systemic is the is too coarse-grained and that you need to go back into people's personal responsibilities or send them actually into therapy to look at that or you need to send them to a doctor or a you know a, a, a physical healer or the only thing that will help to start is prayer so I think that I have been building my own kind of repertoire of experiences where I have moved my own place that I work from and I have invited people to tune in to uh, levels of experience that otherwise they had somehow not had access to and it's enabled uh, a level of uh, f freedom, actually, because there's su such a much bigger canvas for all of us to move in. Right at the very beginning, Bert Hellinger thought nothing of putting in, say, a representative for death. And so he would sweep aside the personal or the systemic issues in order to get people to face these um, absolutely enormous defining constraints. And I'm sure that he himself, as a seer, knew which part of this continuum of sort of vibrational frequencies was open for action. So that sometimes he just sat with somebody and sometimes he would put his arm around them and sometimes he would be very tough and sometimes he would uh, bring in people without naming them uh, to represent the ancestral field or the life before things got broken. So he himself definitely uh, worked in this way himself, but he didn't teach it and he didn't talk so much about it because I think he didn't, and certainly initially, want constellation work to be seen as such a spiritual activity. In those days, I think he now that he talks about the spirit mind and so on, he probably has it moves very much in this realm. But I think I'm more interested in connecting constellations with other activities, whether it is ritual and ceremony or prayer or dance or shamanistic practice or art or whatever, so that somehow we don't hive things off to be too small a practice. I really want people to feel that this is an enormous field that they can find their own way into and develop their own sensitivity to themselves. CSE is pioneering this field. I don't think anybody else has really uh, thought of establishing a, a kind of expanded community of inquiry and development in this much bigger way and uh, their trust that this will become a really useful new offering is really what has inspired me to uh, create this course and I hope attract people who will develop it with me together.